welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me that's makeup and hair. I thought I would do this video um, a talk through. Mostly for my other videos I do voiceovers but this video I really wanted to be really specific with you guys and tell you guys um, exactly what I'm doing and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me so let's get started. Alright, so I already have my brows drawn in. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting an eyebrow tutorial. I will get to that very soon. And I also primed my eyes. I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to go ahead and be using the color Bitten. And Bitten is kind of like a burgundy color. This is by Makeup Geek, by the way. And I'm going to be grabbing this shade. I'm going to use my Sigma E35. This is my favorite blending brush. I'm going to be taking this shadow and I'm just going to apply this right above the crease very lightly because it can come out dark I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna go in with purely naked and purely naked is also by makeup geek it's a very light uh, color I love to use this as a transition color I'm gonna be applying this really really high almost to the brow bone just to really make sure I blend this out I think it is a very light color but it believe me it is an amazing shade just to blend out the shadow. Now I'm going to take my 217 um, by MAC and I'm taking Bitten again but this time I'm really going to focus that color just on the crease and really try to intensify the color a lot more. I think today I'm honestly going to be using Pure Makeup Geek. I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush. I'm going to grab Cocoa Bear because you guys know I cannot do a look without Cocoa Bear. So what I'm going to do is just lightly apply this right on the crease. So here is Cocoa Bear and this is without Cocoa Bear. I'm not sure if you guys notice the difference, but I do. I know my eyes look kind of sick right now, but believe me, after everything will balance out. I'm going to be using um, Utopia by Makeup Geek and this is a pigment. I'm going to be using this on my eyelid and you guys, Utopia is such a beautiful color. I can't even explain the color and I have the new packaging. It actually has this right above it before it was just like nothing on it. When you're using Utopia, you can honestly just apply it on its own. But I'm going to be using um, a black base. That way it really, really stands out. So I'm going to be taking this uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean. And I'm just going to be applying this on my eyelid. You don't want to bring it all the way up to the crease. I'm just keeping it on the eyelid. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and blend that out right after. Now I'm going to go in with this brush. This is from Sigma. It's exactly like the 217 by MAC. And I'm just going to blend this a little bit up towards the crease. I'm going to be using my accent brush for Mill Techniques. This hole is little, so not every brush is going to fit in there to pick up the product. This color is already very, very pigmented, but when you wet it, Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this NYX Matte Finishing Spray, which I know it's matte, but that's the only thing I have to wet this brush. Just apply right above where you put that black. You don't want to take this up to the crease, though. I'm just going to be applying this on the eyelid. Oh, it's just so pretty. I've honestly never tried a color or a pigment this beautiful in my life. I'm going to take Mocha by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to take this same brush and I'm just going to take that and apply that right above just to intensify the crease a little bit. Now to intensify the crease a lot more, I'm going to take Corrupt. And this is optional, but me, I love my looks to be very dramatic. So I'm going to take Corrupt and I'm going to deepen up the crease a lot more. So I'm going to take that same 217 brush and apply this right on that crease. Now to just blend everything out, I'm gonna go back in with this fluffy brush and the Purely Naked eyeshadow. And I'm just going to really adjust this all over that crease and blend. For my brow bone, um, I'm gonna be using a soft highlight. I'm gonna be taking Shroom by MAC and I'm just using this flat brush um, these are really, really affordable. I'll have a link to these down below. And this is why I love doing my foundation after because I get tons of fallout. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all of this off. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous foundation. The one that I always use and this is in the color 
buff beige and I know it's really really dirty. Apply this on my finger first and then apply it on my face. For my brush I'm going to be using this round top um, kabuki brush and I got these online. These are all the face brushes that it came with and it also came with eye brushes. I love these brushes because they're so smooth. So if you guys are looking for um, cheaper brushes I'll leave the link down below for you guys because I am in love with these brushes. For my concealer, I'm still using the Age Rewinder um, by Maybelline. I do have a foundation routine, so if you guys want to see more in depth like with my foundation and stuff like that, I'll have that linked down below. And this is um, one of the brushes that I got um, on that set. And I like to use this underneath my eyes. The only thing I don't like about this brush, it's really not that dense. I'm going to probably have to purchase the one from Sigma that everybody talks about. The one thing that has changed now from my foundation routine is my setting powder. I like to use the Rimmel um, Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And I use the color Transparent. I like to use my Sigma tapered face brush the f20 f25 and i like to just take it set my under eyes with it including the rest of my face so i'm just gonna set my whole face i'm just gonna take my l'oreal color rich eyeliner and it's perfect for smudging out so i'm gonna apply this on my waterline and just kind of bring it a little bit downwards now I'm going to take my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm just going to blend this downwards. I'm going to go back in with Mocha and I'm going to grab my pencil brush and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and just blend that out where I put the black. You could do your regular liner, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply this and smudge it out. I'm now going to take Corrupt from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to set the top of the liner with this shadow. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. For my lashes, I'm going to be taking these. These are from Cherry Blossom, and these are the number 47. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using this NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Medium. And it just looks like this. This is the same one that I used in my foundation routine. The brush that I'm going to be using is this um, angled Kabuki brush. I'm going to apply this right underneath the cheeks. I'm going to take this underneath my chin just to create a shadow and also on my forehead. For blush, I'm going to take this La Femme blush in the color Mocha. I think I did mention this also in my foundation routine. And I'm going to be applying this with my NYX um, brush like this. I don't even know the name of it. I'm not sure if I mentioned this highlighter in my foundation routine, but this is a highlighter that I've been in love with lately. This is from Hard Candy, and it's in the color Tiki, and it is such a beautiful color for the cheekbone. I love it. So I'm going to be taking my F35 highlighting brush and just apply this right above the cheekbone. I don't like to apply it anywhere else but the cheekbone and just a little bit on my nose because I'm already really oily, so if I apply it on my forehead and stuff like that, I'm just going to look like a disco ball. Just a little bit over the lip. Not so much, though. For lip liner, I'm going to be taking this NYX Waterproof Lip Liner in Natural, and I'm just going to be lining my lips with this. I usually fill my lips all the way in, just because I feel like it lasts a lot longer like this. For my lips, I'm going to be using this Milani lipstick called Nude Cream. And I'm just going to be applying that right above. And I really like this lipstick because it's really not um, very, very nude or not too pink. I think it's perfect. 
and I just love Milani lipsticks because they all smell delicious. Before I finish this look, I'm going to go back in with Mocha by Makeup Geek. And I'm also going to take Corrupt. And what I'm going to do with these two is just mix it. And I'm going to be applying this on my crease just to really, really intensify it. Alright, so that is my makeup. I did clean up my brows because my brows usually get a little bit messy when I'm like blending and stuff like that. So I did retouch my brows up. Now what I'm going to do is show you guys how I do my hair. I know I never show you guys how I do my hair, so I thought it would be a great video to actually really get ready in front of you guys do my makeup and hair. Alright, so for my hair, I usually like to use a straightener to curl my hair. So the straightener that I use is this one from Style House. I've been constantly curling my hair with a straightener. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. It is Style House 242 and you get 80% off this straightener. And the final cost would be $39. So that is crazy. From $200 to $39. I think it's super cheap. Well, I'm not sure how many degrees it goes up to but I know it gets really really hot so if you guys are interested in getting this straightener I'll have everything linked down below the coupon code and everything like that so you can get it for $39 I do want to say the customer service is great so if anything does happen to your straightener or you have any questions they do contact you pretty quickly the other week um, I accidentally broke the straightener that they sent me and they quickly responded back and they actually sent me a new one so they have really, really great customer service. I was honestly so shocked that they even decided to send me another one. So they have really amazing, great customer service. That's one thing that I really, really like about them. So like I said, I'll have everything linked down below for this straightener. I usually like to split it right in the middle. Really depends. Sometimes I like to put it to the side. I don't really separate my hair in any special way. All I like to do is just start from my bangs. And I do have a little bit of hair, so I do kind of do this quickly. So what I do, I grab a section like this and I just literally start from the top and go down like this. I like to do it twice because the first time the curl never comes out um, as perfect as I want it. I just keep grabbing random hairs and I always like to make sure my hair is curling out this way, like out of my face. So I'm just going to grab this section, do the same thing and that's all I pretty much do, just keep on curling. I will speed up this video for you guys because it will be forever if I just talk to you guys while I'm doing my hair. It took me maybe like 10 minutes to curl it because I do have a little bit of hair. I'm just going to shake it off because I don't like my hair looking like too perfect, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to rub my fingers through it. And I am like sweating because it's so hot in here. So that is my hair. So if you guys do want to check it out, like I said, I'll have it down in the description box. So let me know if you like these kind of um, talk through videos. I know they're a little bit more longer than my other ones, but I am trying to be more specific with you guys and tell you guys exactly what I'm doing and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Thank you guys so much for watching and... I'm going to go ahead and go because it is hella hot in here and I'm like sweating like crazy. So I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.